to thank the people of Gibson County for allowing them to serve you for 70 years. During football season, there's never a better place to be than sitting in your recliner watching the game. Come visit Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering, 110 High Street in Trenton, and check out the large collection of furniture and floor coverings. Good luck and roll tide! I'm Gibson County Mayor Tom Witherspoon. As Christmas approaches and our minds shift to what to get the children, puppies often come to mind. I want to ask each of you to consider adopting a pet from the Gibson County Animal Shelter. We always have several to choose from, and it would be a tremendous help to us. So please, have your pet spayed or neutered. Thank you to all of our responsible pet owners, and adopt a shelter animal. They'll love you for it. Thank you. Bell Shirt and Sign Company has been family owned and operated since 1969 in Trenton. Located next to Peabody High School, we provide high quality, timely and professional service to local schools, communities, churches and businesses. All graphic design, printing, sewing and engraving is done in-house, so we control the quality and service ourselves. With access to the brands you want, we carry a large selection of Peabody shirts, caps, polos and other items to show off your school spirit. If you are needing screen printing, embroidery, signs or engraving done, stop by and see us today and as always, Roll Tide! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Peabody High School for tonight's matchup of the Greenfield uh, Lady Hornets, I believe, and the uh, Peabody Lady Tide. Later on tonight, we'll have the Greenfield Boys playing the Peabody Boys. But for now, let's stick with the ladies, all right? We have uh, Miracle Johnson on the starting lines for tonight for the Lady Tide, and also, we have a returning player from last year. Her name is Travia Brooks. Uh, I assume that she'll be taking Mariah Cliff's spot, but I really hope that she stays uh, for the rest of the season. Mariah Cliff, uh, I don't know what her injury is, but she is out for tonight's game as she had a ice pack on her knee at South Gibson for pretty much uh, the whole second quarter and the whole second half. Uh, on the green field, uh, Edie Darby, uh, I don't know too much about her, but I do know that she is a baller, as, as good as they come. She's about as good as her uh, sister Tess Darby, who is not only a uh, player for Tennessee, but is a starter for the Tennessee Lady Vols. Uh, so I'm sure she had a great teacher uh, in Tess. This is a copyright broadcast produced by the Roy the Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz Network. We will be right back after this short break. No, we will not. We're about to get started with our starting lineups for tonight. At Hardy, Martin & Owens, we handle personal injury, divorce and family law, criminal defense, and wills and estates. We are experienced in all courts in West Tennessee. With three locations, Trenton, Milan, and Jackson, we are conveniently located to handle all your legal needs. Not many lawyers will give you their personal cell phone number, but Bradley Owens will. Bradley's cell number is 731-234-2400. Call Bradley today. Duncan's Pharmacy is celebrating their 47th year in business this year. In January 2016, they opened Duncan's Express Pharmacy inside of the Trenton Medical Center as a second location. We are proud to serve the communities of Trenton, Humboldt, and Gibson County. At our pharmacy, we believe that being a local independent pharmacy means providing health care services to our patients that are customized to meet their individual needs. Our aim has always been to provide the very best prescription service at the most reasonable price. Try Duncan's Pharmacy for your next prescription, and you will be glad you did.
We are back here at Peabody High School, getting set for Lady Tide and Lady Jackets, Yellow Jackets, my bad, Yellow Jackets uh, matchup tonight. Starting lineups for tonight for the Lady Tide. Ladies and gentlemen, good sportsmanship is one of the primary purposes of all high school athletic programs. Our athletes recognize that judgment calls are made in good faith and that they must abide by the decision of the officials. Spectators can support their program by refraining from derogatory remarks. We hope that you will enjoy the game and support. Kyle Wolford set for the Lady Tide to tip off. And it is basketball time in Trenton, Tennessee at Peabody High School. Darby passes to number 30, Gibson. Gibson try to get the pass inside from Darby. But pass one out of bounds, as that will be Lady Tide Ball. Johnson gives it to Carter. Carter over to Stewart. Stewart gives it to Ross. Ross gives it to Wolford. Missed shot by Wolford. Darby with the rebound. Darby has it to Vucevic. Out to number 23. Inside number 15. Out to 30. Out to Vujovic, Vujovic for three, won't go. Rebound by Wofford. Stewart out to Johnson. Johnson driving in. Johnson not afraid to score, but that will be a travel on Johnson. As it'll be yellow jacket ball. Darby is met by Carter. Darby passes to Alford. Alford gives it to Zeros. Brindley Little. Alford for a mid range. Won't go. Rebound number 20. That is a good make, giving Greenfield their first points in the matchup as it passes wild. Can't make either of those two shots, but. Ultimately gotten back by Darby. Darby gives it to Vucic. Her three is good. Also, I'm very sorry if I mispronounce uh, her name. As we have figured out, I am not very good with names. Foul on the yellow jackets here early in the first. As Carter in the backcourt gives it to Johnson. Johnson gives it to Ross. Ross storms inside. Gets her first bucket for the Lady Todd. As the lead is starting from five to nothing to two to five. Inside to Alford. Alford is fouled. She'll be looking to make both of her free throws right here. No, it will be a throw in. My bad. Darby from way out. Darby on the mark, but just off. Darby thought about it again as Darby gives it to Alford. Alford out to. No, that was Alford with the assist, my bad.
Great defense there by Johnson, although the ref will say she stepped out of bounds. It'll still be Lady Todd ball. No. No, Greenfield ball. My bad. Number 20 on the corner. Her three is no good. Rebounded by Luton. Luton gives it to Johnson. Tries to get down the floor before being pushed out of bounds by Alford. Number 11, Emma Cooper in for Alford as Luton looks to score for a Lady Tide. Ross gives it out to Johnson. Johnson out to Luton. Whistle. Didn't get the call. Eleven in the Derby. Luton defending. Cooper. Out to number 20, out to Darby. Number 30, Glisson passes to 20 on the wing. Ultimately, he goes back to Darby. Great ball movement here by the Greenfield offense as Darby's on the wing. Darby passes to zeros. Little, little three is all, well, it wasn't off the mark, just wouldn't go down for. As Johnson gives it to Ross, Ross drives in. Ross's bucket is no good, in and out. Rebound, Anderson Vucic. Passes to zeros. Little, Little's two is off. Rebound, Cooper out to Darby. Darby from three. Darby shot is no good. Rebound, Wolford. Wolford into Stewart. Still in the backcourt, though, as Luton trying to get him out. Has Johnson wide open. Johnson thinks about shooting but doesn't. Drives in. Foul on the Yellow Jackets. Inside to Brooks. She gets the and one opportunity. That is her first make as a Lady Tide member this season. Lady Tide obviously young, but Travia Brooks brings just a little bit of that experience back that uh, CC Johnson, Micah Norman, Adriana Skinner, and me easily gave her. Remember last year, the Lady Tide traveled to Murfreesboro for the first time in a decade or over a decade as she makes her free throw. Little gives it back to Darby. Darby sees Vujicic. Brooks defending. Brooks great defense as Luton. Driving down, gets it to Skinner. Skinner out to Johnson. Johnson shoots from three. Bang! As the Lady Tide have tied it up here with 3.38 remaining in the first. Luton defending against Darby. Good defense there by Brooks again. It'll be a jump ball in favor of the Lady Tide. Great start here for the Lady Tide. What they don't need to do is let up off the gas pedal. They need to keep the gas pedal down and keep this Yellow Jacket team in or under duress. As Luton gives it back to Johnson. Johnson sees Skinner. It's a two on one. She gives it to Brooks. Travia's shot is good. Five points. And Travia Brooks season's debut so far. Cooper with the ball. Cooper gives it to Darby. Darby in to Cooper. Cooper's shot is good. Luton gives it to Johnson. Johnson driving. Johnson still doesn't step out of bounds. Lady Tide team has improved so far. 
as Luton shoots three. Will not go, rebound Darby. Darby gives it to Cooper. Cooper gives it, trying to find somebody. Good defense there by Johnson as Johnson steals it. Goes up, shoots, scores. The Lady Tide are tied. No, they're ahead right now for the Greenfield Yellow Jackets. Cooper, horrible pass to Vucic. Luton's two, layup will not go. Rebound Brooks. Brooks gets fouled. She'll be sent to the line. Great start here for the Lady Tide. Travia Brooks, might I remind you, hasn't played a basketball game since uh, the state championship in Murphy's Royal last year. Actually sat in the student section with her, tried to get her to play basketball. Well, I guess she took my words, and now she's out here playing the game. Her brother, Nigel Brooks, I actually talked to him earlier today. He's the one who told me that she was playing. So, and he was a center last year for the uh, boys team. As Travia looks to make her second. Her second is good. It'll be a substitution for the Tide as Johnson and Brooks come out and Wolford comes in. As number 25 gives it to Darby. Darby inside the number three. Winberry, she will be fouled and sent to the line. This is her first. Winberry's second is up and good. Carter with the ball. Carter driving, gives it to Cliff. Cliff gives it to Skinner. Skinner wide open on the wing. Skinner's three. Will not go be a over the back on Wofford. Number 55, finding number 20. Oh, tried to find number 25. Stolen by Skinner, though. Skinner gives it to Ross. Ross for three. Goes. Number 23 with the ball. Gets it across half court. Sees number 25. 25 gives it to 21. Her shot is off as that ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Lady Tide ball. Brooks in for Wofford. As Cliff gives it to Carter. Carter gives it back to Cliff. Cliff gives it to Skinner. Skinner sees Brooks. Brooks loses possession. Gives it to number three, Winberry. Darby on the outside. Finds number 25, Trevithan. Inside, outside, back to Darby. Great defense there as that is a tip ball. No, they'll say it would be out on Greenfield. Lady Tide ball. Cliff finds Carter. 45 seconds left here in the first quarter. That'll be a foul on Greenfield. Skinner looking to inbound it. Gives it to Carter. 
Carter gives to Skinner. Skinner drives, grabs a set of ankles while she's at it, gives it to Brooks. Brooks with Brooks gets fouled, gets sent to the free throw line. Her third trip to the free throw line tonight. Looking to make the most of her opportunities here. 27.9 seconds left here in the first. Makes her first. Stewart looking to come in for the Tide as Brooks makes her second. Stewart comes in for Cliff. Winberry driving. Gets met, but finds number 25. There'll be a foul on a Lady Tide on Stewart, to be more specific. Brooks defending, or Darby from deep. Darby's three is airballed. Rare airball there from Darby. Rebound, Winberry. Darby on the outside again. Winberry on the wing. Her three won't go. It'll be Lady Tide ball after the ball travels out of bounds with 4.3 seconds left here in the first. Lady Tide lead, 18 to 11. Carter with the ball. Carter finds Stewart. Stewart might launch one up here. Ah, too late. We'll be right back after this short break. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. And we are back here at Peabody High School where the Lady Tide are currently leading over the Yellow Jackets of Greenfield, 18 to 11. Edie Darby's playing for the Yellow Jackets. Her sister, Tess, plays for the Lady Vols over in Knoxville. Speaking of Knoxville, I'm not too sure where Chattanooga uh, comes in with Knoxville at, but state championships are happening as of the moment. And as I understand, McKenzie, the team who uh, – beat uh, Peabody out of the playoffs, has lost to South Pittsburgh, although I do not know a score. As getting back to action here, Darby on the backcourt gets it across half court over to Winberry. Winberry driving in. Greenfield on the inside trying to get a bucket here. That'll be a something on uh, Greenfield. As we got a timeout here, I just want to remind everybody <laughs> that McKenzie got beat by South Pittsburgh 24 to 21, I have just been informed. Greenfield called a timeout. Uh, so we'll be right back after this. Gibson County Utility District has provided Gibson County and the surrounding area with natural gas since 1953. We pride ourselves on our dedication to the comfort and safety of our customers and the citizens of Gibson County. And as citizens, you can do your part. Always be sure to call 811 before digging in order to avoid hitting a gas line or any other buried utility. Gibson County Utility District, for better living in your community.
and we are back here at Peabody High School. We are sorry that we uh, missed uh, some action, but basically what happened was Greenfield missed the basket, Peabody uh, rebound, and Peabody's Brooks is at the line, gets three points on that play. Winberry gives it to number 11, Cooper. Cooper over to Darby. Darby over to Winberry. Winberry number 25, Trevithan. Darby on the outside gives it back to Trevithan. Trevithan gives it to Cooper. Cooper out to Glisson. Number 11 inside. That's Trevithan. That will be a foul on Miracle Johnson. Miracle Johnson's sister is Cece Johnson, and Cece Johnson wore zeros as well. Trevithan's first is no good. Peabody leading by 10 right now, 21 to 11 in the second quarter. Trevithan second, however, is made. Lady Ty looking to create opportunities and get baskets. Ross sitting outside gets it to Johnson. Johnson gives it to Ross. Ball stolen from Brooks by number 25, Trevithan. Trevithan gives it to Darby. Trevithan. Darby gives it to number 11, Cooper. Cooper into Winberry. Winberry's two is off. Rebound, Brooks. Brooks to Luton. Luton out to Johnson. Johnson to Stewart. Stewart drives inside, gets fouled by number 30, Glisson. Stewart's first free throw is up and no good. Our second is good. As Stewart and looks like Ross, or is that Luton? Luton. Uh, Stewart and Luton sub out. Ross on the defense. Has it inside Brooks on the defense. And number 15, Alford, will be fouled by Brooks. Alford's first is off. Alford's second is up and no good as well. As Carter wrestles her for the ball. Goes out of bounds, but referee will say it's Lady Todd Ball. Carter gets it past half court. Gets it to Cliff. Cliff to Ross. Ross back to Carter. Johnson gives it to Ross. Johnson drives inside. Gets fouled. This is how the ladies are creating their points. And however they get points, if they win, you know, great strategy. Take points however we can get them. Johnson's first is up and no good. However, if you don't make your free throws, you're not getting any points if you get fouled. As Skinner comes in for Ross. 
Her second is up and good. Vujicic, I think I said it right that time, is in for Greenfield. Darby gives it to her. Vujicic on the outside, finds Darby. Darby's been off tonight so far. As Winberry gives it to Vujicic. Winberry on the outside, gives it to Cooper. On the inside to Alford. Vujicic gives it to Darby. As Winberry trying to create some sort of type of offense for this Yellow Jacket team. They are not. Great defense there by Skinner. As Cliff drives, Cliff stops, finds Carter. Carter drives, decides to pass it back out to Miracle. Miracle gives it to Carter. Carter's three. No good air ball. That'll be out on Miracle Johnson. It'll be Yellow Jacket ball. Great defense there by Lady Todd. No easy buckets. As Darby on the backcourt. Darby gives it to Cooper. Cooper gives it back to Darby. Darby to Winberry. Winberry gives it to Darby. Darby directing traffic. Darby out in the wing, gives it to Alford. Alford's three is good. Carter on in the backcourt. Finds Johnson, tight pass. It will be out on the Lady Tide, making it Greenfield Yellow Jacket ball. Little is in for Winberry. Darby. Darby gives it to Offord. Offord drives in, gives it to Cooper. Cooper shot is off, rebound Brooks. Great defense there by the Yellow Jackets. It'll be a jump ball in favor of the Lady Todd. No, yes, Lady Todd. Winberry comes back in for Cooper. Carter dribbling it down the court. 23 to 15, 345 left in a second. Johnson sets a screen for Carter as Carter drives in. Off the backboard, no good. Foul on Carter. A little bit too aggressive there. That'll send. Edie Darby to the line. Darby not been there so far tonight for the Yellow Jackets. Carter and Brooks come out. Darby's first is good. Darby's second is up and good as well. Johnson gives it to Luton. Luton gives it to Skinner. Skinner tries to pass to Johnson, but pass is tipped out of bounds. Stay late, tie ball. This broadcast is directed by Christopher Reasons, and our cameramen for tonight are Billy Bowen and Eli Gerard. I'm Andrew Burris, and I am announcing the game as Skinner is on a corner for three. Skinner's three is good. As Winberry finds Alford on the inside, Alford's bucket is good. Johnson gives it to Luton. Luton gives it to Ross. Ross out to Johnson. Johnson's three. No good, but rebound Cliff. Almost rebound by Cliff. 
lands in Skinner's hands as Johnson is on the outside. Gives it to Skinner. Skinner's three. On target, but off. Darby gives it to Alford. Alford over to Little. Little finds Darby. Little drives in. Alford on the outside. Vujovic is screaming, waving arms like a maniac. Shoots a three, will not go. As Ross gives it to Skinner. Lady Tide trying to play their pace of the game. Good defense there by Vujicic. <laughs> if I was a substitute and I had to pronounce that last name, I'd probably just not. As Luton on the backcourt. That will be a timeout for the Lady Tide. We'll be right back after this. back here at Peabody High School where the Lady Tide are playing the Yellow Jackets leading 26-19 with 1.54 left in the second. Putting these Yellow Jackets on upset alert. Carter gives it to Skinner. The ball finds Skinner. Skinner finds Johnson, Johnson drives inside. Great defense there by Alford as Alford gives it to Darby. Vujicic gives it to Alford. Alford back to Vujicic. Darby on the outside. Looking to create some offense here for the Yellow Jackets. As Darby on the outside shoots a three, will not go. Rebound Stewart. Stewart driving fast down the court. Skinner grabs a set of ankles as her shot is off. Offered. Oh. Off the hands of Johnson. Almost a great play there for Johnson. These Lady Tide have been playing their hearts out so far tonight. They can't let fall off the gas pedal now. Foul on Stewart, I would imagine. Nelson Alford to the line. Her first is up and good, giving her a second opportunity. Our second is up and good as well. Carter gets it past half court. Johnson gives it to Carter. Carter inside. Her shot is good. Lady tied by seven. As Ross gives it to Richard Offer pushes off. I saw a push off there, folks. I don't know about y'all. Offer back to the free throw line. Offer, 
Her first is off. Brooks with the rebound. Carter with 19 seconds left in the second. Carter gives to Skinner. Skinner gives it to Ross. Ross gives it back to Johnson. Johnson drives in, looking to create a shot. Will not go. As time expires in the first half, as the Lady Tide are winning 28 to 21 over the Greenfield Yellow Jackets. We'll be right back after this short break. H&R AgriPower is your local Case IH dealer in Trenton, Tennessee, and a proud supporter of the Golden Tide. Your hometown attorney, Jennifer Finch McEwen, is back on the square in Trenton, ready to help you with all your legal issues and preventative measures. Everyone needs an attorney from time to time, and Jennifer Finch McEwen is here to help. Whether your problem is divorce, child custody, child support, bankruptcy, criminal charges, wills and estates, or personal injury, or if you are just in need of general advice, Jennifer can serve your needs. With 15 years of criminal and civil experience, Jennifer can find the solution for which you are looking. Call or come by the Court Square in Trenton today. Roll Tide. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson where cars really are cheaper in the country. Raspberry Towing, 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. Raspberries has served the Gibson County area and surrounding counties for 39 years. Kyle Raspberry is the youngest officer appointed to the Tennessee Towing Association. Kyle is certified in light, medium, and heavy duty wrecker recovery with the American Towing and Recovery Institute. So call Raspberry Towing at 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. We are proud to be locally owned. We are rooted in this community in Gibson County. We are active not only in Medina, but also the surrounding communities on a day-to-day -day basis. These are our friends, our family, and our neighbors. And we are truly humbled by those that call upon us to serve. Trust, guidance, and commitment. That's why families turn to us. Ruth Logan Lawrence Funeral Home, a tradition of caring since 1925. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Peabody High School. And to my right, somewhere, you can't see him. There ain't enough room. But we have the Jake the Snake Ramsey. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I like long walks on the beach. Uh, spending Friday nights watching uh, our Tide, Tidemen play and our uh, Lady Tide. Uh, got the lead at halftime, so I'm excited about that. But uh, other than that, I'm just, uh, I feel honored to be, uh, to share this booth with you three guys. So tell us what you do for a living. Well, uh, you talking about at the high school? Anything. Anything you want to tell us? Well, currently I'm an assistant principal at, the, at Peabody High School. Um, I'm serving as the athletic director. Um, for Peabody, um, a head baseball coach and assistant football. So I dabble in a lot of areas, just trying to serve our students. Are you a family man of any kind? I have become that recently. Just had my first son, Cooper Carey Ramsey. That's a shout out. I don't know if he's listening. I hope so. If he's not, he should be. Um, but uh, very excited to have him in this world now. If you could give any words of inspiration to the youth of the high school, what would it be? to get involved with as many things as you possibly can while you're in high school, develop relationships, 
uh, talk to a lot of students, make those friendships and connections, get involved in sports, band, athletics, clubs, just uh, enjoy the high school experience. Um, other than that, that's, that's good advice, I think. All right, one last question. That's it. That's a short interview, but go ahead. <laughs> I could, I could do this all night. <laughs> all right. All right. I might give you some more questions. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so tell us about uh, your baseball career, you know, where you played at, what college you went to. I started out at Milan High School where we were able to uh, win a state championship there during my uh, career in 2004. Left Milan High School and um, went on scholarship at Bethel University. Best decision I've ever made. Played four years there. Became a student assistant, which led into a – graduate assistant opportunity where I was able to coach and become an assistant coach. Um, transitioned from Bethel University to Ripley High School, served five years there as the baseball coach, and then uh, now I'm where God led me, and that's Peabody High School, and, and Peabody's the best place I've ever been. All right, so you know this infamous crew, you know Billy and Billy Bowling, Christopher Reasons, myself. Eli Gerard plays baseball. He looks to be a pitcher this year. Uh, got pitcher of the year last year, might I add. But you're familiar with Billy, Christopher, and I. So uh, tell tell them, tell the audience, you know, what we're going to be doing. Um, the three names that you just mentioned are the, my three most favorite uh, students at Peabody High School. Uh, daily, uh, on the daily, we have in-depth conversations about life. Um, but these three uh, gentlemen uh, serve a, a huge role for our uh, Peabody baseball program. They do all the behind-the-scenes work. Um, most times you can find them in a jersey in a big game in the dugout cheering on our uh, tide men. Uh, but they do um, everything that it takes to run a program behind the scenes, announcing, scorebook keeping, camaraderie in the dugout. Just three great guys that we're lucky to have. Well, that's nice. Thank you for saying that about all of us. All right. Thank you for your time. We greatly appreciate you. We actually appreciate you. I appreciate it. Roll Tide, not Alabama. <laughs> Go balls. <laughs> we'll be right back after this short break. Believe it or not, insurance has become one of the largest parts of most family budgets. How many times have you thought to yourself, man, that seems expensive? At Siler Thornton Agency, we represent several different insurance companies, so we have the flexibility to shop your coverages and find the best value. Siler Thornton Agency has been taking care of insurance needs in Gibson County for over 20 years. We are proud to be a Trenton business, and we love to support the Peabody Golden Tide. Call us today or stop by for a free quote. Siler Thornton Agency, our business is you. Trenton Health and Rehabilitation is a newly renovated four-star facility in Trenton. It is the only Eden and Bronze facility within 200 miles of West Tennessee. Trenton Health and Rehabilitation offers skilled and long-term services. There is a nurse practitioner in the facility five days a week who works in conjunction with the doctor. Virtual providers are also available. You can call at 855-4500. Trenton Health and Rehabilitation is located at 2036 Highway 45 Bypass South in Trenton. Come visit us for your rehab needs. Utility Solutions Underground, located in Trenton, takes care of all kinds of projects such as trenching, digging, boring of one inch or smaller bores, and storm or lot cleanup. Owner and operator Tommy Castleman has been serving the Gibson County area for 40 years and has the experience and know-how to get the job done right the first time. Utility Solutions is fully licensed and insured, so give them a call today at 731-420-0593 for a free estimate. No job too big or too small. Utility Solutions Underground, let us dig for you. Roll Tide. And we are back here at Peabody High School. Just had an interview with Jake the Snake Ramsey. He is the head baseball coach for the uh, Peabody Golden Tide. A little bit of what happened in that half for the Yellow Jackets. Uh, Edie Darby uh, has not been too big of a name tonight for the Yellow Jackets. Uh, or at least it's not as much as I expected. Uh, the Yellow Jackets are down by seven right now. Moving on to the Lady Tide. Really, really great offense uh, from the Lady Tide so far. They need to keep their foot down on the gas pedal and not ever, ever let up. Ever. I mean, ever. They don't need to let up at all. 
They need to extend this lead as much as they can. As we are T minus 41 seconds from uh, the start of the second half. Lady Ty trying to secure their first W of the season. The next game we have, I believe, is against South Fulton on Tuesday at Peabody. I imagine we would keep the times of six and eight going. Uh, I don't really know too much about South Fulton either as they are literally right next to the border of Kentucky. I actually ventured out there this summer to about Eddyville, Kentucky. I don't know how far that is. I kind of slept the whole way there and the whole way back. Ranger River Water Park was pretty fun though. I won't even lie to you. As we are set here for second half action, Winberry driving inside. Her basket is good. Greenfield starting off hot. Johnson in the backcourt. Tries to have to Skinner off the uh, fingertips of Skinner, though, as Winberry gives it to Vucic. Vucic. Great effort there by Johnson, although she lands on about the whole Greenfield bench as Darby on the outside. When Mary gets it to Darby, Darby from deep. Darby makes her first three of the night. And this lead has shrunken to two for the Lady Tide. That'll be a travel on Skinner. Things not going too well at the start of the second half for the Lady Tide. Not well at all. Darby gives it to Vujicic. Wingberry gives it back to her as she passes it to Darby. Darby gives it to Little. Little gives it to 20. Offered inside. Offered's bucket is good. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are tied here at Peabody High School. 28 to 28 as Wofford on the inside. Ross with the rebound. That shot won't go either. It'll be out on Greenfield. Carter gives it to Ross. Ross on the outside. Ross's shot is good. Winberry on the corner gives it to Offord. Offord out to Little. Little shot is off. Airballed. Skinner's. Skinner drives. Skinner gives it to Carter. Carter drives inside. Gives it out to Miracle Johnson. Ross is three again. Up and no good. Out of bounds on the Lady Tide. Greenfield ball. Substitution for the Yellow Jackets. Carter. Cooper, my bad, comes in for Alford. As Darby's in the backcourt. Pass from Little. Darby double teamed. Timeout by Greenfield. We'll be right back after this break. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in, the warehouse, and I like my leadership team with the managers and supervisors. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's 
I've enjoyed every one of them. I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say, not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's POWER to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. And we are back here at Peabody High School. Sorry about the technical difficulties there. Christopher decided to run another commercial while we were at it. <laughs> it was a minute-long commercial. My bad. Oh, Winberry is out for the Yellow Jackets as we speak. Couldn't tell you what's wrong. Looks to be a bleed of some sort. It'll be a Lady Tide ball as Luton get, tries to get it to Johnson. Great defense, though, by Offord. As Offord scores, it'll be a Peabody timeout, and we'll be right back after this. Trenton Light and Water Department provides electric, water, and wastewater services for customers inside the city limits of Trenton, Tennessee. We support all Trenton Special School District endeavors, academic, athletic teams, band, and extracurricular clubs and activities at Trenton Elementary School, Trenton Rosenwald Middle School, and Peabody High School. Our office is temporarily located in downtown Trenton at 110 South College Street in the Steel Building while a new office and warehouse building is being constructed at our Armory Street location. Please contact our office or visit our website, www.trentonlw.com, for payment options, online, bank draft, ACH, by phone, and our new phone app. Roll Tide and Lady Tide from Trenton Light and Water. We are honored to serve all the citizens of Trenton. And we are back here at Peabody High School where the Lady Jackets have taken the lead over the Lady Tide, 32 to 31 with 520 left in the third. Johnson out to Luton, Luton's three, airballed. Rebound Lady Tide as Ross gets it outside, back to Cliff. Back out to Ross, Luton on the wing. Luton finds Brooks. Brooks gets her own rebound, gets fouled, and will be sent to the free throw line for two. Brooks, as I said earlier, this is her season debut. For a Lady Tide. Her first is up and off. Her second is up and off as well. Darby with the rebound. Darby still in the backcourt, trying to find somebody, gets double teamed. Passes to Alford, Alford drives inside, shot off. Great defense there by Lady Tide, will be a jump ball, headed the Lady Tide way. Lady Tide looking to score here. So it'll be a lady tie ball, even though the ball travels out of bounds. Johnson gives to Carter. Johnson back to Cliff. Cliff, her shot is off from three. Lady Tide trying to get points any way they can. 
Darby passes to number 20. Wild pass by Greenfield. It'll be out of bounds for the Yellow Jackets. Cliff gives it to Carter. Carter on the outside, looks for Johnson. Johnson gives it to Brooks. Brooks inside, gets fouled. Gets in to the free throw line again. But it won't matter if she doesn't make any of these shots. Her first is up and off. Her second is off as well. As somebody will get fouled again. That would be Ross. Ross's first is up and good. Tying the game for Lady Todd. Glisten, although limping, subs in for number 21. Abernathy. Glisten with the rebound. Darby in the backcourt. Foul by Carter. Skinner in for the Todd. Offer gives it to Darby. Out to Glisson on the corner. Great defense there by Johnson. That'll be a foul on Johnson. As Darby from the outside. That'll be a out of bounds on the Yellow Jackets. Alford looking a little bit frustrated. As Johnson drives in, that'll be a charge. Offer gives it to Darby. Darby back to Offord. Offord to number 20. Number 20 tries to find Darby. Pass was stolen, or almost stolen, by Skinner. That'll be a foul on Skinner. Offer gives it to Vujicic. Skinner has been very quick so far this season. Reliable shooter as well for the Todd. Brooks, great defense. As Carter trying to get across half court, the sound gets to Johnson. Johnson is fast as well. That will be a jump ball in favor of the Yellow Jackets.
Alford. Gives it to number 20, Vujicic. As that is a steal by Miracle Johnson. Johnson drives in. That'll be a layup up and good by Johnson. It'll be Lady Tide ball. After the miss from the Yellow Jackets. Carter in the backcourt. Carter past half court. Oh, almost loses the ball. Although Fine Skinner Skinner gives it back to Carter. Bad pass there by Carter. Johnson drives inside. Shot is off. Offer with the rebound. Skinner's going to meet her at the rim. Great defense there by Cliff, though. It will remain Greenfield. Yellow Jacket ball. Bujicic finds Glisten. Glisten on the inside against Wolford. That is a mismatch for days. As I was saying, Glisten to the line. second is up and no good as that will be another jump ball in favor of the Lady Todd. No. One referee one referee saying Lady Todd ball. The other saying black. Fortunately, one ref, especially the ref that was saying white, he was, you know, he was correct. So that means Lady Tide Ball as she, as Ross, gets it up court. Carter on the outside. Carter gives it to Skinner. Skinner from deep three. Good. Making it a two possession game. Maybe even a one possession. No? Carter on the backcourt gives it to Cliff. Skinner back to Carter. That pass is wild. That would be Greenfield ball with 54.1 seconds left in the third. Great defense there by Cliff, although Glisten gets the rebound. That shot is off. Rebounded by Greenfield. Number 25, Trevathan gets fouled. Her first is off. Her second is good, however. Carter finds Skinner in corner. Skinner makes a, not a very good pass, or tries to, although it wound up in back in the hands of Carter. Carter's pass is through the hands of Cliff. Carter defending is Alford. 
Offer gives to Glisson, but Glisson travels. As Ross dribbling it up. 14 seconds left. Probably looking for a last shot opportunity. Carter on the outside finds Stewart. Stewart. Jump ball. In favor of Greenfield. Two seconds left here in the third. Darby launches it. Won't go. At the end of three, your Lady Tidely 37 to 36. We'll be right back after this break. J&B is 447 South Main in Dyer, Tennessee, will buy, sell, or trade, and even finance in-house. At J&B Motors, you can even enjoy a lifetime warranty. J&B is a complete dealer with a mechanic shop and a detail shop. Just travel to Dyer, 447 South Main, or visit the website at jnbmotorsllc.com. J&B Motors doesn't care about your credit. They care about you, their customers. J&B Motors, 447 South Main, Dyer. We are back here at Peabody High School where the Lady Tide are taking on the Lady Yellow Jackets. At start of fourth quarter, the Lady Tide are currently leading 37 to 36 over the Yellow Jackets. Lady Ty looking to chew clock, or both chew clock and score early on in the fourth quarter. Johnson gives it to Carter. Carter inside to Johnson. Johnson inside. Gets called for traveling. Speaking of traveling, the Peabody Bandigo will be traveling to California along with Gibson County, Humboldt, Milan, and South Gibson High Schools. As the Yellow Jackets inside, out to Darby. Darby from deep range, in and out. Only made one three tonight. So far for the Yellow Jackets. Brooks passes it to Carter. Carter out to Skinner. Skinner gives it to Johnson. Johnson out to Carter. Carter out to Skinner. Skinner back to Carter. Carter from the corner. Carter's three is good. Darby. Darby's pass to Trevithan. Is good. However, that'll be a travel by Glisson. Johnson gives it to Carter. Lady Tide seeking their first win here of the season. Johnson drives inside. It'll be a foul on the Yellow Jackets. Johnson's first is up and no good. Johnson's second is up and rattles in, however. Skinner comes in, no, goes out, and Cliff comes in. Mariah Cliff uh, is out for this game as she had an ice pack on her knee Tuesday night against South Gibson as Darby drives inside. Darby's shot is off, rebound by Brooks. Tough rebound, oh, that passes in the middle of nowhere. Although it is grabbed by Carter. Carter drives in, oh, that was almost pretty.
Vucicic with the ball, gives it to Trevithan. Trevithan back out to her. Gives it to Darby, Darby from deep three, in and out again. Travia Brooks tries to find Carter though. Will not go. Good bucket there by Greenfield. 6.02 left here in the fourth. Johnson drives inside. Johnson gets fouled. She'll get sent to the free throw line. Johnson looked to make the most of her opportunities at the free throw line. Her first is up and good. Her second is up and good as well. Substitution here for the Lady Tide as Stewart comes in for Cliff and Cooper comes in for number 21, Abernathy. Wild pass there by Darby. Johnson driving, gets it to Stewart. Johnson trips. Back up, has the ball, gives it to Ross. Ross drives in, gets fouled. Darby is frustrated. Does not agree with that call. It'll be a timeout for Greenfield. We'll be right back after this break. State Farm Agent Amy Greer, 308 South College Street in Trenton, is where the customer's needs always come first. When life storms hit your home or your family, you're able to rest easy when you deal with a 30-year professional, Amy Greer, at State Farm in Trenton. Your North Gibson local agency serving Trenton, Dyer, Rutherford, Bradford, Kenton, and Yorkville. See Amy or Scarlett Davis-Smith or Courtney Tyree Williams. Amy Greer, State Farm, Trenton. We are back here at Peabody High School where the Lady Tide are currently leading over the Yellow Jackets 43 to 38 with 534 left in the fourth. Lady Tide taking their first win of the season. Later on the night, we have the boys game. And ladies and gentlemen, you'll be seeing the return of the Malik Ganaway as he'll be uh, debuting uh, for the first time this season tonight for the Tide Men. Ross at the line right now, though. I think that's Ross, I do believe. Yeah, Ross at the line looking to make the most of our opportunities. However, she does not. Rebound by Carter. Great evens there by Darby as she forces the ball out of bounds with 531 left in the game. Johnson gives it to Carter. Runner out to Ross. Ross gives it to Johnson. Johnson drives in. Johnson's layup is no good. Vujicic with the ball, gives it to Darty. Vujicic from three, her shot is good. Carter gives it to Ross. Ross up to Stewart. Stewart guarded by Darby. Great defense there by Darby as that will lead to a yellow jacket miss by Darby. Darby a little bit off game tonight. Misses her another shot. Almost a great save there by Stewart. Darby's just not been there tonight, folks, for the yellow jackets.
Trevathan passes in, or tries to pass in to offer it as that pass is stolen by Carter. Carter drives, Carter shoots, Carter misses, rebound, offered. It'll be a jump ball in favor of Greenfield. Little subs in for number 25, Trevathan. Cooper gives the Darby. Darby driving. Trying to create a shot. Good steal there by Skinner. As Carter drives. Carter shot is good. Two possession game here for Todd. Great even stare by Johnson. Shot off by the Yellow Jackets. Rebound. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Greenfield ball steal. 334 left in the game. Lady Tide lead 45 to 41. Darby on the outside gives it to Alford. Alford out to Vujicic. Her three is no good. Rebound Brooks. Brooks gives it to Carter. Carter drives. Carter on Darby. Darby over Carter. And Darby will send Carter to the free throw line. Darby's first is, no, Carter's first is up and no good. Her second is up and no good. Johnson. We'll call a timeout, and we'll be right back after this. Trenton native Amy McLemore is a certified residential specialist with Town & Country Realtors. Specializing in the Gibson County area, it is her goal to treat each of her clients with respect and custom care. Having received numerous awards in the field of real estate, Amy is qualified to ensure the best outcome for her clients, whether they are buyers or sellers. You can call Amy today at her office at 731-668-7000 or on her cell at 731-234-0049 and let her help you find your dream home. And we are back here at Peabody High School where the Lady Tide are currently leading 45 to 41 over the Greenfield Yellow Jackets. Lady Tide looking to secure the first win of their season. As Skinner is giving it to Carter. Carter shot is off. 305 left in the fourth. Darby driving back out to Drayton. Drayton gets to Darby. Darby gets to Little. Little's three is good. Making a one possession game for the Yellow Jackets. Skinner from three. Skinner's three is up and good. Three of her own. Skinner always a reliable option for points as Darby gives it to Trevathan. Trevathan gives it to Offord. Offord is fouled.
The stands are re relatively packed tonight for the uh, Golden Tide. Best crowd I've seen since the Westview game. Or Westview and Henry County game. Henry County played the Lady Tide. And Westview played the Tide men. Lady Tide wound up on a losing side, although the Tide men wound up on a winning side. Westview is in Chattanooga today as well. They play tomorrow. As back to action here, Ross drives. Gives it to Cliff. Cliff gets to Skinner. Skinner over to Ross. Ross back to Skinner. Skinner's three. No good. One possession game here. 46 to 48. Lady Tide lead. Darby on the outside. Gives it to Trevathan. Trevathan gets it to Offord. Offord tries to get it in the inside. Although that pass is stolen. And that pass is tipped by Offord. Offord drives. Offord shoots. Offord's shot does not go in. They'll say it was out on Lady Tide. Big Greenfield ball. Trevathan out for the Yellow Jackets as Vujicic comes in. Offered on the outside, drives in against Johnson. She will be fouled. Her first is up and good, making it a one-point game. Offered second is up and good as well. <laughs> Tying the game, and that will be a timeout. We'll be right back after this. Eddie and Clint Sturgeon have been serving Trenton for over 30 years and at the current location for 13 years, offering two drive through windows, free delivery, after hours emergency service, and vaccinations. It's almost flu season, so it's time for your flu shot. I know nobody wants either one. The flu shot takes less than five seconds, but the flu lasts for a week. So take your shot or take your chances. You can get the flu anywhere, but get your flu shot at Eddie's Pharmacy. No appointment needed for either one. We are back here at Peabody High School where the Lady Tide and the Yellow Jackets are tied. Lady Tide up by as much as 11 at one point from as far as I can remember. You know what? I'll tell you all, I love this crew that I'm with. Chris for Reasons directing, Elon and Billy on the cameras. And of course, me, moi, Andrew Burris announcing. Carter in the backcourt gets it past half court. Skinner on the outside gives it to Ross. Ross gives it to Johnson. Johnson looking to get this tight offense going with one minute and 20 seconds left in this game as Ross for three. Ross's three is off. Rebound offered. This crowd's loud, ladies and gentlemen. As Darby on the outside. Gives it to Little. Little finds Alford. Great defense there by Johnson. As Darby finds Vucicic on the outside. Passes inside to Alford. Out back to Darby. Little's three up and. 
No good. It'll be a jump ball. It'll be Peabody ball. Buddy Todd looking detectively with 36.4 seconds left here in the fourth. This crowd's getting into it, folks. Both sides. Bad pass. That is stolen by the DL Jackets. Darby probably just going to look to grind the clock out. Timeout Greenfield. With 5.7 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen, 48 to 48 in the fourth. We'll be right back after this. Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering would like to thank the people of Gibson County for allowing them to serve you for 70 years. During football season, there's never a better place to be than sitting in your recliner watching the game. Come visit Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering, 110 High Street in Trenton, and check out the large collection of furniture and floor coverings. Good luck and roll tide! And we are back here at Peabody High School where it is tied 48 to 48 with 5.7 seconds left. Lady Ty looking to win their first game of the season. Here in just a couple, well, 5.7 seconds in basketball, and that's about, oh, about a minute in my time. Because, you know, it always seems like with 40 seconds left, it takes about 10 minutes to get through. But I do not think that would be the case here in tonight's matchup. It will be Greenfield, lay jacket ball. Which finds Offord. Offord drives inside. Great defense there by Brooks. Which stitch on the outside. Takes a three. Goes at the buzzer. Greenfield Lady Jackets win it at the buzzer, 51-48. to We'll be right back with boys basketball action right after this. I'm Gibson County Mayor Tom Witherspoon. As Christmas approaches and our minds shift to what to get the children, puppies often come to mind. I want to ask each of you to consider adopting a pet from the Gibson County Animal Shelter. We always have several to choose from, and it would be a tremendous help to us. So please, have your pet spayed or neutered. Thank you to all of our responsible pet owners and adopt a shelter animal. They'll love you for it. Thank you. Bell Shirt and Sign Company has been family owned and operated since 1969 in Trenton. Located next to Peabody High School, we provide high quality, timely and professional service to local schools, communities, churches and businesses. All graphic design, printing, sewing and engraving is done in-house, so we control the quality and service ourselves. With access to the brands you want, we carry a large selection of Peabody shirts, caps, polos and other items to show off your school spirit. If you are needing screen printing, embroidery, signs or engraving done, stop by and see us today and as always, Roll Tide! At Hardy, Martin & Owens, we handle personal injury, divorce and family law, criminal defense, and wills and estates. We are experienced in all courts in West Tennessee. With three locations, Trenton, Milan, and Jackson, we are conveniently located to handle all your legal needs. Not many lawyers will give you their personal cell phone number, but Bradley Owens will. Bradley's cell number is 731-234-2400. Call Bradley today. And we are back here at Peabody High School where the boys are getting set for their matchup. Couple of notes from the ladies game. Greenfield won with, at the buzzer. Uh, that was the most competitive game the ladies had had all year. Um, so great notes there for the Lady Tide. Had the lead up until about, about the, <laughs> the last second, I'll be honest with you. Uh, 
So, Lady Tide looking to win against South Fulton on Tuesday. Meanwhile, right now, we have the boys game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to see Jason Hunt, who, who's fresh off an offer from Cincinnati that he got on Thursday after, uh, no, yeah, Thursday. Um, no, it's that, yeah, no, Tuesday, Tuesday, my bad. I got my days mixed up. About to see Jason Hunt, got, who's fresh off an offer from Cincinnati that he got on Tuesday. Then you're getting to see uh, Malik Ganaway, his season debut. DeMarcus Key and Derek Key, the keys to success. And then Tyrone Brown is back, ladies and gentlemen. Although I do not see Sean Williams out there. Uh, more notable names for the Golden Tide. Number 12, Tavion Farms. And Kamari Bonds was a great person on defense last game. Jason Hunt scored 45 in the last game against South Gibson. Charles Cliff back out there for the Golden Tide. It's going to be a great game, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a great game. We'll be right back after this. Duncan's Pharmacy is celebrating their 47th year in business this year. In January 2016, they opened Duncan's Express Pharmacy inside of the Trenton Medical Center as a second location. We are proud to serve the communities of Trenton, Humboldt, and Gibson County. At our pharmacy, we believe that being a local independent pharmacy means providing healthcare services to our patients that are customized to meet their individual needs. Our aim has always been to provide the very best prescription service at the most reasonable price. Try Duncan's Pharmacy for your next prescription, and you will be glad you did. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Gibson County Utility District has provided Gibson County and the surrounding area with natural gas since 1953. We pride ourselves on our dedication to the comfort and safety of our customers and the citizens of Gibson County. And as citizens, you can do your part. Always be sure to call 811 before digging in order to avoid hitting a gas line or any other buried utility. Gibson County Utility District, for better living in your community. H&R AgriPower is your local Case IH dealer in Trenton, Tennessee, and a proud supporter of the Golden Tide. 
Your hometown attorney, Jennifer Finch McEwen, is back on the square in Trenton, ready to help you with all your legal issues and preventative measures. Everyone needs an attorney from time to time, and Jennifer Finch McEwen is here to help. Whether your problem is divorce, child custody, child support, bankruptcy, criminal charges, wills and estates, or personal injury, or if you are just in need of general advice, Jennifer can serve your needs. With 15 years of criminal and civil experience, Jennifer can find the solution for which you are looking. Call or come by the Court Square in Trenton today. Roll Tide! We are back here at Peabody High School where the boys are getting warmed up for their match tonight against the Greenfield Hornets. I don't know the actual starting lineup, but if I had to guess, it would be something like Tyrone Brown, Jason Hunt, Malik Ganaway, Derek Key, Demarcus Key. Something like that. Malik Ganaway is back for uh, the basketball team. They will be playing South Fulton on uh, Tuesday as well. South Fulton, however, not in their district. Uh, the people in their district are Halls, Humboldt, Jackson Central Mary, which I, which if I understood correctly, they are starting up their sports programs again. Lake County, out in the middle of the armpit of Tennessee, and Middleton, which is a ghost town. We'll be right back after this. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Raspberry Towing, 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. Raspberries has served the Gibson County area and surrounding counties for 39 years. Kyle Raspberry is the youngest officer appointed to the Tennessee Towing Association. Kyle is certified in light, medium, and heavy-duty record recovery with the American Towing and Recovery Institute. So call Raspberry Towing at 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. And we are back here at Peabody High School. The director to my left is Christopher Reasons. On the cameras are Billy Bowen and Eli Gerard. And I am Andrew Burris announcing the game. This is a copyright broadcast produced by Worthy World Studios and the Ball Game Blitz Network. We are T minus 30 seconds until game time here again at Peabody High School. I believe we are fixing to get started with the starting lineups for tonight's game. Don't know too much about the Yellow Jackets coming into this game. Tell you what I'm going to do when I get home. I'm going to go home, watch a little Christmas movie, and then tomorrow at approximately 9 a.m., a mass band practice starts at Milan High School. The mass band consists of Milan, Gibson County, South Gibson County, Peabody, and Humboldt High School. Come out and support us as we go to California. That prairie route's about six miles long. We did two miles of last practice. Now we're going to do four this practice, marching from the stadium to the middle school. And now, let's get the starting lineup for the Peabody Golden Tide. 
Here are your sidelines for the Peabody Golden Tide. Those are your starting lineups for both the Greenfield squad and the Peabody squad. Peabody rocking the white for tonight. Greenfield rocking the black. This Peabody squad is ready to get started, and I don't blame them. Been waiting to play since Tuesday after they won a really exciting game against South Gibson. Looked a little bit off in the first quarter, but ultimately they battled back. Derek Key set the tip off for the Tide, and Peabody wins a tip off. DeMarcus Key gives it to Brown. Brown drives. Brown gives it out to Hunt. Hunt's three. Won't go. Rebound number 40. If I have a number 40 on my roster, Omarion Miles. Number 11, Biggs with the ball. Gives it to Miles. Miles drives in, tries to at least. Great defense there by Brown. Brown gives it to Key. Key goes up. Key slaps. Peabody foul. That would be a technical on Jason Hunt. I don't know what for. He probably just said let's go and he was called for a foul. But you know it's whatever. As number five, Luke Stone is at the line. He's a senior for the Yellow Jackets. He makes both of his free throws. Number 11, Biggs with the ball. Kamari bonds on defense. Key on defense against, oh, Jason Hunt gives it to DeMarcus Key. DeMarcus Key shoots in, on, from the inside, rebound Hunt. Hunt shoots, Hunt fires, Hunt scores. Biggs gives it to number 24, Skates. Out to number five, his shot is off from the corner. Hunt gives it to Bonds. Bonds shoots a three. Bonds' shot is off. Number 24. Skates is at side. Finds number 11, Biggs. Biggs to Miles. Miles to Stone. Stone back to Biggs. Foul against Bonds. Bonds on the defense. Tyrone Brown coming to help Bonds. Biggs from mid-range, Biggs shot is off. Foul by Greenfield, it'll be Peabody ball. Derek Key gives it to his brother DeMarcus. Greenfield. 
Derrick with the ball. Finds Hunt on the corner. Hunt's three is up and good. His first three-pointer of the night. Greenfield on the inside. That shot is off, rebounded by Hunt. Hunt gives it to DeMarcus Key. DeMarcus Key's three is up and no good. Rebounded by Biggs. Biggs over Bonds, or gets by Bonds. Biggs directing traffic, shouting out orders. Over number 24, Skates. Skates drives in on DeMarc. Good defense there by DeMarc. Although it'll try out of bounds and they'll say it was out on DeMarc. Making it Greenfield ball, Miles on the outside. Miles gives it to number 34. Back out to Miles. Miles drives in on Derek Key. Great defense there by Derek Key as he gets it back for the Tide. Jason Hunt about got smacked. Luckily, he ended up safe. Jason Hunt's first is up and good. His second is up and no good. As Greenfield with the ball. Miles both on the back court and the front court. Biggs on the outside. Trying to find Miles. Miles shot is good. D Mark with the ball. DeMarc gives it to Derek. Back to DeMarc. Back to Derek. Derek spots up from the two, makes it. Number 11, Biggs with the ball. Miles. Back over to number five, Stone. Stone's pass is intercepted by DeMarc. He'll say it was a kick ball. Hunt in for Brown. These Peabody fans are not liking it. Now I don't blame them one bit. Malik gaining away on defense against Biggs. One of the best defenders last year, in my opinion, for the Golden Tide. As the Greenfield from three doesn't make. Number 24 skates with the rebound. Skates gives it to Stone. Stone back out to Skates. Skates wants Biggs, travels instead. I'm not even a basketball person, and I know that's a travel. I'm proud of myself. Malik gives it to DeMarc, back to Malik. Malik gets to DeMarc on the wing. DeMarc's three is off, rebounded by Greenfield. Stone on the outside. Gives it to Skate. Skate's shot is in. Hunt gives it to DeMarc. DeMarc gives it to his Derek, his brother Derek. That was a nice little no look pass. That was fancy smancy. They did that a couple times at the South Gibson game. Oh, that's another travel. Hey. Student section alive a little bit for the Golden Tide. Screaming, you can't do that, and they are indeed right. Ganaway gives it to Hunt.
Skates gives it to Stone. Miles tries to set a screen for Stone as Miles drives in. Great shot block by Derek as DeMarc gives it to Hunt. Hunt drives. Hunt shot misses. Second chance up by Derek, rebounded by Greenfield. Todd has to make their shots, but it took a minute for them to get hot against South Gibson, so oh, <laughs> close one there for the Todd. It'll be a foul on Malik Ganaway. Close one there, though, but as I was saying earlier, it took Peabody a while to get hot in the South Gibson game. Another foul on Malik Ganaway. I don't know about that one. First thing you get the whistles out their mouth. Greenfield looking to inbound it. Out to Skates. Skates out to Miles back into Skates. Great defense there by Hunt. As Hunt gives it to Farms. Farms out to Derek Key. Derek Key drives in. Derek Key shoots and scores. That was, woo, man. Wes Miller can drive up some pretty plays. Oh, almost a steal there behind. That would have been a flashy dunk, I guarantee it. Rebound Greenfield after the missed three. Stone for three. Stone's shot is good. Brown passes DeMarc. DeMarc in the corner. DeMarc's shot is good, and there he goes. He's not going to look back now, folks. He's hot. He has it. Stone for three. Won't go. Jason Hunt for three. That one will not go either. Rebound by Farms. Travel by Farms. Speaking of traveling again, Peabody will be at West Carroll next Friday, a week from today, as number one Tanzil has the ball. Tanzil shoots, Tanzil makes. Greenfield try to play quick defense there with DeMarcus. DeMarcus loses control of the ball. Number five, Stone has possession, gives it to number 11. Ends up in the hands of somebody. Jason Hunt, the buzzer, will not go. At the end of one. The Golden Tide leads 17 to 12. We'll be right back after this. We are proud to be locally owned. We are rooted in this community in Gibson County. We are active not only in Medina, but also the surrounding communities on a day-to-day -day basis. These are our friends, our family, and our neighbors. And we are truly humbled by those that call upon us to serve. Trust, guidance, and commitment. That's why families turn to us. We're at Local Lawrence Funeral Home, a tradition of caring since 1925. And we are back here at Peabody High School. where the Golden Tide are leading over the Yellow Jackets right about now. 17 to 12, getting start started with the second quarter of action. Greenfield trying to derail. 
this tight offense. Miles standing there with Dehan. They are just looking at each other. I don't blame them. Oh, they had great, great hands there by Dehan. Finally, all that staring at each other paid off. Miles gives it to Tanzil. Tanzil gives it back to Miles. Stone on the outside. Biggs gives it to Miles. Dion on Miles, playing great defense so far. Stone on the outside, driving in. Good basket for Greenfield. Be a foul on Greenfield. Tyrone Brown looking to throw it in here for the Tide. Saw this play a couple times at South Gibson. Probably, prob probably, probably going to be looking for Derek right here. And I wasn't wrong, but the pass failed to get to Derek. Blake Ganaway getting ready to sub in for the Tide. Great defense there by Brown. As Greenfield somehow retains possession of the ball. That will send number 24, Matt Skates, to the line. His second is up and good. Decreasing the lead to two. Ty need to get something going here. Jason Hunt for three. Airballed. DeMarcus drives in, gives it to Jason. Jason gets called for the charge. Office needs stop being flashy and just score some points. Peabody style. Whatever that means whether it's by getting to the line and shooting or doing something flashy and scoring. As Miles with the ball. Great defense there by Derek. As Derek's going to go up and slam it down again. Woo, I missed that. Missed it so much. Brings tears to my eyes almost. Perhaps that would get this off. It's going great. Defense there by Tyrone Brown. Malik goes up. Malik with the easy bucket. Timeout Greenfield. What do you know? We're starting to build momentum. They just call a timeout. We'll be right back after this break. Believe it or not, insurance has become one of the largest parts of most family budgets. How many times have you thought to yourself, man, that seems expensive? At Siler Thornton Agency, we represent several different insurance companies, so we have the flexibility to shop your coverages and find the best value. Siler Thornton Agency has been taking care of insurance needs in Gibson County for over 20 years. We are proud to be a Trenton business, and we love to support the Peabody Golden Tide. Call us today or stop by for a free quote. Siler Thornton Agency, our business is you. And we are back here at Peabody High School, where the Tide are currently leading over Greenfield 21 to 15. As we get back to action here, Miles in the backcourt. Gives it to Biggs. Biggs drives against Brown. Good defense there by Brown. Bonds finds Ganaway. Ganaway gives it to one of the keys, Derek Key. There gives it to Tyrone. Tyrone shoots, Tyrone fires, and Tyrone misses. Although DeMarc there on the outside shoots over one person, gets it over his head. 
Told you, folks, he ain't going to look back. As Biggs in the backcourt. Good defense there by Brown. Tyron Brown jumps. Oh. <laughs> It'll be Greenfield ball. <laughs> He went up. <laughs> I'm sorry. He went up. <laughs> he tried. That's all that matters. He tried. Give the man a break. This is the first game, bro. His first game. <laughs> Greenfield misses. <laughs> Key with the rebound. Ganaway drives in, that'll be a charge. Farms comes in for Ganaway. Top 10 moments in the Way the Road Studios history, right there. As Tanzo with the ball. Tanzo goes inside. Great defense. Wow. Well, they got a hand up in his face. He just made it. Seven-point game here between Peabody and Greenfield, 24 to 17. DeMarcus out to Bonds. Bonds three. Won't go rebound Farms. Farms gives it to Hunt. Hunt from mid-range gets fouled. He'll be sent to the line. His first is up and good. Been pretty much money all season for the tie from the free throw line. His second is good, or no good, my bad. Second is no good. Rebound by Derek Key. Derek Key spots up, shoots, no good. Rebound, Tanzil. Tanzil gives it to number 24, Skates. Skates gives it to Tanzil. Biggs on the outside, almost shoots. Gives it back to Skate. Biggs from the outside, shoots, no good. DeMarcus is going, probably going to do an alley-oop. Oh, that's, uh, oh, almost. We're about, we're, we're about there. As Miles drives in, great defense there by Derek. As DeMarcus gives it to Hunt, maybe he'll put his kid on a poster. Oh, oh, we'll take the points any way we can get them. Although, maybe he could have done something a little bit more flashier. Kid didn't want to get posterized, though. I don't blame him. Oh, here we go. This is prime Jason Hunt right here. Oh, there he is. Hunt slams it in. And that's another Greenfield timeout. Greenfield is looking a little, little bit frustrated here. We'll be right back after this break. Trenton Health and Rehabilitation is a newly renovated four-star facility in Trenton. It is the only Eden and Bronze facility within 200 miles of West Tennessee. Trenton Health and Rehabilitation offers skilled and long-term services. There is a nurse practitioner in the facility five days a week who works in conjunction with the doctor. Virtual providers are also available. You can call at 855-4500. Trenton Health and Rehabilitation is located at 2036 Highway 45 Bypass South in Trenton. Come visit us for your rehab needs. And we are back here at Peabody High School where the Golden Tide are taking on the uh, Greenfield Yellow Jackets. Sorry about the audio issues. It's different in every environment. Great defense there behind. Oh, he can go for another one. Oh, and he goes up and just about misses it, but he doesn't. Oh. 
Biggs gives it to number five, Stone. Miles driving inside, back out to Stone where he makes his three. Key on the outside. Gives it to his brother Derek. Derek shoots three. Oh, oh. From way out, I, that, was, that could be good from Narnia. Bonds with the great defense. Key with the shot block. Man, these kids are something else. I miss this. Farms comes out for the Todd. Stone from mid-range. Shot will not go, but rebounded by Skates. Skates gets it back out to Stone. Stone on the outside gives it to Miles. Miles gives it to number 34, Cooper. As that will be a jacket turnover. Marcus dribbling it up court. DeMarcus spots up, shoots, fires, will not go. Number five from the outside, that shot will not go from the corner. Jason drives in, gives it to Derek. Derek gets fouled and gets the end one. His first is no good. His first and only is no good. Number 24 skates on the outside. Sage drives in. DeMarcus with the ball. Passes it. No, no. Puts a little ball fake on him. Passes it to Tyrone Brown. Tyrone Brown back to DeMark. DeMark to Jason Hunt. Hunt to Key. Key driving in, Key shoots a floater, misses. Rebound Greenfield. Biggs give it, gives it to Miles. Miles trying to drive, finds Stone. Stone drives, decides to give it to number 24. Ultimately winds up in the hands of Stone again, and he'll score. 45 seconds left in the second quarter. The fact of the matter is, folks, we should be up by more than what we are. Missed shots and missed opportunities is what's been killing us as Jason Hunt shoots a three, will not go. Rebound Tyrone Brown, Jason Hunt shoots again, that one will go. Stone driving in. Key defending. That will be a foul on Peabody. Jason Hunt has one technical so far. <laughs> so far. Hope he doesn't get another one. If he gets another one, he gone. Team Carson Wills at the line makes both of his free throws. 17 seconds left in the second quarter. Key dribbling, probably going to wait for a last shot opportunity. Key shoots, key fires, key misses. At the end of the first half, 
Your Peabody Golden Tide lead over the Greenfield Yellow Jackets, 38 to 26. We'll be right back after this. Utility Solutions Underground, located in Trenton, takes care of all kinds of projects, such as trenching, digging, boring of one inch or smaller bores, and storm or lot cleanup. Owner and operator Tommy Castleman has been serving the Gibson County area for 40 years and has the experience and know-how to get the job done right the first time. Utility Solutions is fully licensed and insured, so give them a call today at 731-420-0593 for a free estimate. No job too big or too small. Utility Solutions Underground, let us dig for you. Roll Tide. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in in the warehouse. And I like my leadership team with the managers and supervisors. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's power to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. Trenton Light and Water Department provides electric, water, and wastewater services for customers inside the city limits of Trenton, Tennessee. We support all Trenton Special School District endeavors, academic, athletic teams, band and extracurricular clubs and activities at Trenton Elementary School, Trenton Rosenwald Middle School, and Peabody High School. Our office is temporarily located in downtown Trenton at 110 South College Street in the Steel Building, while a new office and warehouse building is being constructed at our Armory Street location. Please contact our office or visit our website, www.trentonlw.com, for payment options, online, bank draft, ACH, by phone, and our new phone app. Roll Tide and Lady Tide from Trenton Light and Water. We are honored to serve all the citizens of Trenton. And we are back here at Peabody High School where the Golden Tide are leading over the Yellow Jackets, 38 to 26. A little bit of notes from that half. The Yellow Jackets obviously losing so far. Um, however, uh, they look to come back. Uh, Miles looks to be the leader of that offense along with Biggs and Skates. Moving on to the Golden Tide, DeMarcus Key, Jason Hunt, Derek Key, and uh, really, really the main three. Have uh, been good so far. I could use a Dr. Pepper right about now, you know, kind of down of thirst over here. But, you know, uh, so I'm going to go get that while y'all watch some commercials right quick. We'll be right back after this. Motors, 447 South Main in Dyer, Tennessee, will buy, sell, or trade, and even finance in-house. At J&B Motors, you can even enjoy a lifetime warranty. J&B is a complete dealer with a mechanic shop and a detail shop. Just travel to Dyer, 447 South Main, or visit the website at jnbmotorsllc.com. J&B Motors doesn't care about your credit. They care about you, their customers. J&B Motors, 447 South Main, Dyer. We are back here at Peabody High School, and there you have it, right here. The Peabody High School student section posing for a few yearbook pictures. I bet you'll see that shot in the yearbook. I see Jason Baskerville out there, along with his quarterback, Sam Driggers, with Owen Lee. He plays 
uh, baseball and football for the Golden Tide. Student section been out, been there tonight for the Tide so far, as they've been at the majority of uh, both the games. Jason Hunt, I don't, to, I don't really have a score tally for him right now, but I imagine he's reaching about the 12, 12, 20 point mark. Um, so good news there. As Greenfield comes back out, we have a nice little shot of our concession stand. Greenfield coming back out, looking to come back in this game. The Golden Tide obviously looking to build on their lead, whether it's by flashy points or if it's by hard earned points at the line. We'll take the win however we can. We'll be right back after the short break. State Farm Agent Amy Greer, 308 South College Street in Trenton, is where the customer's needs always come first. When life storms hit your home or your family, you're able to rest easy when you deal with a 30-year professional, Amy Greer, at State Farm in Trenton. Your North Gibson local agency serving Trenton, Dyer, Rutherford, Bradford, Kenton, and Yorkville. See Amy or Scarlett Davis Smith or Courtney Tyree Williams. Amy Greer, State Farm, Trenton. Trenton native Amy McLemore is a certified residential specialist with Town & Country Realtors. Specializing in the Gibson County area, it is her goal to treat each of her clients with respect and custom care. Having received numerous awards in the field of real estate, Amy is qualified to ensure the best outcome for her clients, whether they are buyers or sellers. You can call Amy today at her office at 731-668-7000 or on her cell at 731-234-0049 and let her help you find your dream home. Eddie and Clint Sturgeon have been serving Trenton for over 30 years and at the current location for 13 years, offering two drive through windows, free delivery, after hours emergency service, and vaccinations. It's almost flu season, so it's time for your flu shot. I know nobody wants either one. The flu shot takes less than five seconds, but the flu lasts for a week. So take your shot or take your chances. You can get the flu anywhere, but get your flu shot at Eddie's Pharmacy. No appointment needed for either one. Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering would like to thank the people of Gibson County for allowing them to serve you for 70 years. During football season, there's never a better place to be than sitting in your recliner watching the game. Come visit Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering, 110 High Street in Trenton, and check out the large collection of furniture and floor coverings. Good luck and roll tide! I'm Gibson County Mayor Tom Witherspoon. As Christmas approaches and our minds shift to what to get the children, puppies often come to mind. I want to ask each of you to consider adopting a pet from the Gibson County Animal Shelter. We always have several to choose from, and it would be a tremendous help to us. So please, have your pet spayed or neutered. Thank you to all of our responsible pet owners, and adopt a shelter animal. They'll love you for it. Thank you. Bell Shirt and Sign Company has been family owned and operated since 1969 in Trenton. Located next to Peabody High School, we provide high quality, timely and professional service to local schools, communities, churches and businesses. All graphic design, printing, sewing and engraving is done in-house, so we control the quality and service ourselves. With access to the brands you want, we carry a large selection of Peabody shirts, caps, polos and other items to show off your school spirit. If you are needing screen printing, embroidery, signs or engraving done, stop by and see us today and as always, Roll Tide! And we are back here at Peabody High School. We would like to thank all the Golden Tide basketball boosters. There's a sign to my right, but I am blind and I cannot read that. But there are a list of the boosters. Beside that is the Dynamics sign uh, who bring uh, the personal trainers. Uh, Ross Pope, 
who's my, one of my favorite people of all time. Uh, he is the head physical trainer. <laughs> to my left, directing is Christopher Reasons. And on the cameras are Eli Gerard and Billy Bowen. <laughs> Christopher's told me to tell you that they're doing a terrible job, but I'm sure they're doing just fine. As we get set for more action here at Peabody High School. Peabody Golden Tide looking to build on their lead. Jason Hunt starts off. Jason Hunt, Tyrone Brown, Tyrone Brown scores. Skates gives it to Miles. Miles to Biggs. Biggs back to Skates. Skates directing traffic. Skates tries to pass it in, fails. Steal by Demarcus Key. Derek out to Jason Hone in the corner. He shoots, fires, air balls. That's the second air ball of the night, folks. As Skates drives in, shoots and misses. Tyron Brown with the rebound. Brown passes it to DeMarc. DeMarc gives it to Hunt. Bonds Brown. Bonds on the wing. Gives it back to Brown. Brown into Key. Key in the Hunt. Foul. Jason with the three point opportunity. Jason Hunt is first and only is up and good. Almost a steal there by Jason Hunt. Skates backs it out. Skates does it to Miles. Miles looks for Biggs. Gives it to Biggs. Biggs back into Miles. Miles shoots. Miles fires. Miles misses. Rebound key. Taking it up court. Steps back. I'm sure he thought about a three right there. Gives it to Bonds. Bonds three is off. Rebound, rebound Brown. Brown's ball is stolen by Miles. Miles gives it to Skates, and Skates is traveling down that court. Gets stopped and is double team. Ball thrown by DeMarcus Key. Great defense there by Bonds. Hunt looks to get fouled, and he gets another and one. It'll be a timeout for Greenfield. We'll be right back after this. At Hardy Martin and Owens, we handle personal injury, divorce and family law, criminal defense, and wills and estates. We are experienced in all courts in West Tennessee. With three locations, Trenton, Milan, and Jackson, we are conveniently located to handle all your legal needs. Not many lawyers will give you their personal cell phone number, but Bradley Owens will. Bradley's cell number is 731-234-2400. Call Bradley today. And we are back here at Peabody High School where the Golden Tide are playing the Yellow Jackets. They're currently leading 45 to 26 with 534 left in the third. Ball 
Wes Miller, Coach Wes Miller drawing up some plays. As Jason Hunt goes to the line. Shoots and misses from the line. That'll be black ball. Greenfield. No, white. Black ball. Kamari Bonds went over there like a dummy head. So it got me all confused. As skates, gives it to Biggs. Skates tries to do a little layup, won't go, rebound Hunt. Hunt directing traffic. Gives it out to Brown, keys wide open in the corner. He shoots, he fires, he misses. Rebound jackets. Basket there by Greenfield. Hunt on the outside, passes it to Brown. Brown gives it to Key. Key shoots from mid. Key fires. Key misses. It'll be Greenfield ball. That is number 14. Wills with the ball. <laughs> oh. They're going to say that was out on Malik Ganaway. As Wills with the ball, gives it to Stone. Great play there by the Jackets, getting an easy bucket. Jason Hunt on the outside, shoots, fires, no foul. He got knocked down. Seems to be all right. <laughs> As Skates gives it to number five, Stone. That'll be a foul. No. That'll be something on the jackets. Key gives the ball to Ganaway. Ganaway back to Key. Key gives it out to his brother Derek. Derek air balls. Derek attempts to steal the ball just a little bit too quick. That'll be a foul on the Golden Tide. Skates at the line. His first is up and no good. The second is up and good. Ganaway driving. Ganaway gives it the key. Key over to Brown. Brown inside to Hunt. Hunt gets fouled. He'll be sent to the line.
His first is good. His second is up and no good. Rebounded by Ganaway. Shot blocked. Foul on the Yellow Jackets. Malik Ganaway gives it to Key. Key on the outside. Key shoots. Key misses. Rebound by the Tide. Jason Hunt puts it back up and in. Biggs with the ball. He passes it to Stone. Stone drives. Great defense there by Ganaway as Jason Hunt goes up and slams it down. Key with the assist. Derek Key, that is. Tanzel trying to do a little bit of his own thing. Foul on Derek Key. Biggs gives it to Skates. Skates over Malik Ganaway. Ganaway with the ball, passes it to Key. Key jumps. Key dunks. Woo! He about put, he a thing here. <laughs> man, man, that was dirty. I might have to go take a shower after that. <laughs> Woo! Man. Woo-wee, woo-wee. That was pretty. That was nice. Woo. Man, that was nice. All right. Foul on Tyrone Brown. Their key on the defense passes into Tanzel. That'll be Peabody ball after that travel. Key gives it to Ganaway. Ganaway is running. Yeesh. Ganaway tries to get it to Hunt with a nice little no look pass. Wild pass by Greenfield. Stone on the outside. Stone wide open. Will not go in and out. Hunt gives it to Ganaway. Ganaway gives it in to DeMarc. DeMarc gives it to Hunt. Hunt shoots, Hunt fires. Hunt shot does not go. Re It'll be Greenfield ball. Number 14, Wills with the ball. Gets it back to Skates. Skates passes it to Stone. Stolen by DeMarcus Key. DeMarcus shoots, fires, mate. Oh, man. He about made it. He was on target. Wide open from the corner, he misses for Greenfield. Stone on the wing, wide open, makes. Ganaway with the ball, dribbling. Ganaway passes to Brown. Brown gives it to Hunt. Hunt passes in the key. Fade away. Oh, that was pretty. I love those types of shots. Nice little mid-range fadeaway jumpers. Those are always nice to look at. You know what else is nice to look at? DeMarcus Key's shoes. Those things are pretty. Wish I had them. As Greenfield makes another three, that is Biggs's shot. 
foul on Greenfield Skates as that will send Malik Ganaway to the line. His first is up and good. His second is up and good as well. Wild pass there by Greenfield and it goes out of bounds to be Golden Tide ball. Brown gives it to Ganaway. Ganaway gives it to Hunt. Hunt gives it back to Ganaway. Ganaway gives it to Brown. Brown inside the key, try to. Derek Key a little bit frustrated as we head into the half, trying to score a little bit more before uh, going into the break. Speaking of break, we'll be right back after this break. Duncan's Pharmacy is celebrating their 47th year in business this year. In January 2016, they opened Duncan's Express Pharmacy inside of the Trenton Medical Center as a second location. We are proud to serve the communities of Trenton, Humboldt, and Gibson County. At our pharmacy, we believe that being a local independent pharmacy means providing health care services to our patients that are customized to meet their individual needs. Our aim has always been to provide the very best prescription service at the most reasonable price. Try Duncan's Pharmacy for your next prescription, and you will be glad you did. And we are back here at Peabody High School. I just want to say that we that the cheerleaders just threw some shirts out to the crowd, and we didn't get nothing. We would raise our hands, wave our arms like maniacs as Key is on the defense, get scored on. Ganaway drives inside. Ball taken away by Biggs in the tansel. Great block there by Key. Key passes to Hunt. Hunt shoots. Hunt fires. Hunt misses, rebound Bonds. Bonds out to Key, Key shoots, Key fires, Key misses. Good defense there by Malik Ganaway. As Biggs winds up with the ball. Bonds gets called for the foul. Number five, Stone with the ball, passes to Tanzel. Almost a steal for Derek Key. Ganaway gives it to Key, the Marcus Key that is. Todd Offense looking to score, there you go. Hunt with the three. Tanzel with the steal. That'll be a reach in on the Todd. Greenfield looking to score. That'll be a foul on Ganaway. Skates drives it in on key. 
Nice little pass there by Skates, although Miles' first shot misses and misses his second shot. Pretty pass leads to nothing. As Hunt gives it on, gives it to DeMarc out in the corner, his shot is good. Skates on the drive, gives it out to Miles. Miles back into Skates. DeMarcus key defending, Skates makes. Marcus Key gives it to Bonds. Bonds passes over to Hunt. Hunt to Brown. Brown to Key. Key to his brother, DeMarcus Key. Back out to Bonds. Bonds' pass is stolen by number 11, Biggs. <laughs> they all went up for at the same time, and Miles did not make his shot. That'll be Peabody ball. That shot was not going to go down. That, it wasn't going down in nobody's books. Key out to Brown. Brown back to Key. Key back to Brown. Brown out to Bonds. Bond shoots, Bond fires, and Bond misses. As it'll be Greenfield ball. Skates gets it up court. Skates draws in over both of the, over DeMarcus, but does, the shot does not go in. Derek drives, Derek shoots, and Derek gets fouled. First is up and good. His second is up and good as well. Skates gives it to Tanzel. Tanzel out to Stone. Stone shoots from deep, does not go. Rebound Hunt. Hunt drives. Hunt gives it to Derek. Derek, oh. It was an alley -oop. We took the points. As Brown defending against Biggs, surprisingly good call for, good call for the foul there. Although Biggs on the outside. Drives in, tries to before he's swarmed by Todd. Wills for three, goes. Big seems to be injured, hobbling. Hunt's three is up and good. Tanzel gives it to Wills. Wills gives it to Biggs. Big tries to get into skates, but back out to Wills. Bigs for three, big shoots, big shot does not go. Wills for mid range, will not go either. As Jason Hunt drives. Kamari Bond's gonna shoot again. Will not make that one either, but Jason Hunt puts it back. Great shot block there by Derek. Oh, DeMarcus going to go up and dunk it. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> 
as Peabody gets called for the foul. I would also like to point out, I do believe Jason Hunt has reached the 1K, the 1,000 point uh, goal in his uh, career. Yep, as he just said, he has reached 1,000 points in his basketball career, his high school career. That's a historic, that's historic for this young man. Coming off all from Cincinnati, he has a bright future ahead of him. If there are any college coaches watching this, Jason Hunt is the guy you need. Trust me. Little Jason Hollywood Hunt never hurt anybody. Tanzel, his second is up and no good. Rebound key. Key gives it to Ganaway. Ganaway gives the Brown. Brown's three won't go. Rebound Greenfield as Bowers. Is it to Skates? Skates gives it to Wills. Wills out to number 12. Rush. Rush gives it to Tanzel. Tanzel to Wills. Wills gives it to Bowers. Bowers to Tanzel. Tanzel back to Bowers. A good shot back there by Derek again. Oh, almost a great pass by Malik Ganaway. This is a season debut for Malik Ganaway. As Wills has the ball, Wills gives it to number 12, Rush. Back to Wills. Wills gives it to Tanzel. Tanzel outside to Bowers. Bowers to Wills. Wills to number 22, Williams. Out to Bowers. Greenfield trying to get some sort of type of momentum. Great defense here by Dehan. As Brown has the ball. Malik Ganaway gives it to Charles Cliff, and that pass is mishandled by Charles Cliff. Ace Meadows and Zay Norman come in for the Tide. as Bowers has the ball. Bowers gives it to number 12, Rush. Great, great evens there by Tyron Brown. Tyron Brown driving in, gets fouled, and gets the and one. 74 to 50 with 41.9 seconds left in the game. 76 to 50, my bad. He can't make it a three-point play. It'll be white ball. It's Cliff on the corner. Cliff gives it to Norman. Norman from outside. Norman shot his air ball. Ace Meadows arguing with the ref a little bit. His brother Connor Meadows is an offensive lineman, or was offensive lineman for Peabody. He is a UT Martin commit. UT Martin is actually traveling to Montana as we speak to play, uh, well, I guess, who are they playing in Montana? 
Their football team has had a great year this year as Ganaway with the steal. Ganaway gives it to Norman. Norman shoots. <laughs> Norman up. That shot will not go. That will end the game here at Peabody. The Peabody boys winning over the Greenfield boys by a score of 76 to 50. What went on in that game was a whole lot of Jason Hunt reaching the 1K mark. Demarcus Key and Derek Key. And good defense from Malik Ganaway, Tyrone Brown, and Kamari Bonds. As I said earlier, Jason Hunt reached a 1K point mark and uh, Greenfield uh, just got outplayed tonight by uh, the Peabody Golden Tide offense. The girls uh, lost at the buzzer. Uh, if I can get her name right, please do not insult me for this. Anison Vujicic, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, she scored uh, a three-pointer as time expired in the fourth. Uh, making it a 51-48 to final score basketball game. Well, that'll about do it for tonight's basketball action between Greenfield and Peabody. We hope to see you next Tuesday as Peabody plays South Fulton at Peabody. Game time six for the girls and game time eight for the boys, approximately for the boys. We hope you all stay safe and have a good night. We'll see you next time.